Got to go across the bridge, really. Oh, uh, yeah, he's on the move. He's coming in now. Hi, it's about 975 and welcome to PUBG on the Xbox One. I'm afraid there hasn't been that much PUBG on my channel recently, but that's partly because... Um, just me and Don haven't got on the same time to play and um, partly because of a shift change at work and I've been doing a lot of nights lately there's many reasons but I thought I'd bring you this one this was a fun duos game with Don good teamwork not the most amount of kills uh, but just a fun example for you and uh, sort of a fun finishing clip with Don um, I didn't realize Don had actually killed the two guys like on his own off while I was medding from the other guys and um, yeah, it was kind of an interesting finish when I saw it from Don's point of view and then put it in contact with mine. Uh, there was a lot more going on at the end than I actually realised. Uh, but it was a fun game, a silly game, um, running around. I was a uh, good old UMP. Um, I used the UMP way too much. Uh, Don was using an Uzi, which is a gun I do love using and I should really use more because I've got my UMP to level 100, I've got my UMP and SCAR all the way up. And I still use them all the time. I don't. I really should use more weapons. Um, really play around with the jankier weapons more often, because I do enjoy using the Uzi. Um, I do enjoy using the Vector, the MP5, all the 9mm stuff. The the issue I have with it is you always meet that guy that's got uh, the level three gear late in a game, and that's when you regret having 9mm stuff. Um, just one of those things. It's. The, everything's got its pitfalls and its downfalls. The Vector is amazingly awesome and shreds everyone apart from that guy in level 3 vest. Then it takes a few more bullets to kill and uh, yeah, that makes all the difference. Uh, you know, PUBG is that sort of game. Everything's got its, its niche, everything's got its advantage or disadvantage. Um, apart from probably the Scar, because the Scar is just awesome. <laughs> Um, there are better ARs, but the SCAR is the one that, for some reason, I do best with. And that's coming from me, who spent so much time using the AK because he didn't like 5.56 guns. Uh, but these days, um, yeah, weirdly, the SCAR is my most used AR by a long way. Um, I don't even use the dinner plate gun as often as I used to. I do use it still quite often, but not as often as I used to. Um, you know, if, to be honest, uh, one of my favourite loadouts at the moment is still DBS and D um, uh, a good DMR. You know, you get hold of the uh, the FAL uh, and the DBS, the you're sorted. I kind of like that setup. Um, you know, it's the way it goes. It's one of those things. I I play a reasonable amount of this game. Um, I haven't played that much lately because of stuff going on in Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous being so busy, and because of in real life stuff um, but soon we're told that um, I'm told that we'll be able to be playing with um, Little Lloyd again and that that's when it starts getting really fun there's um, when you add Little Lloyd into the mix you just get crazy shenanigans and stupidity um, me and him together are, are a nightmare for Deadweight Don who um, likes a disciplined approach to the game, a sensible approach to the game. Whereas me and little Lloyd prefer if I put this uh, to play like children on a sugar rush. Um, we have no trigger discipline. We have no understanding of how to spell the words trigger discipline. We are nutters who um, yeah it's it's more babysitting than anything else. Uh, now I'll be honest, this is where it starts getting clutch in the game. Um, I thought I was toast here, to be honest. Um, but I managed to get over to where uh, Don feels safe enough to res me. Um, Don knows where the, the, the guy is that knocked me and is calling out. Um, and then I'm going to switch to Don's view in a moment. Um, so you can see, um, as I push to the next rock, Don takes over this point and completely saves us from getting flanked, uh, which is cool. 
uh, while I keep the guys that uh, the guy that knocked me and his mate busy. Um, here's Don's point of view. Um, if you're wondering why the colours all change, it's because Don's colour blind, uh, which is really good because it. Uh, for him in this game, but not so much in Tilly Dangerous. This game has a colorblind mode, colorblind assist, and he can use it and it works. Uh, in Elite Dangerous, um, friends and enemies are distinguished by, by, by being red or green, uh, which is kind of awkward for him. And Elite Dangerous doesn't have a colorblind assist mode, it's something that I think all games should have. All games should have a colorblind assist, all games should have uh, control mapping as standard to help people out um, you know there's lots of people out there that have difficulties in very weird and wonderful ways and there should always be something in game that helps them uh, but here's Don closing out the game in style he even helps me uh, knock the guy across the road and knock the guy close up and I'll switch over to my view at the, at the end as well and say that's all thank you very much for watching and I'll give you a bit of audio enjoy the rest of this clip Yeah, I'm medding because I'm fucked. There's four alive. I just killed the guys taking our right flank. Yeah, his mate's hanging back. Oh, he's fucked up. <laughs> I absolutely rinsed him with the user. Well done, mate. Free kill. Three kills, two assists. Okay, need two minutes. Sorry, mate. There's only four K. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I nipped out of the zone and back round the building to kill the guy who was coming in on our flank. We only had one direction to worry about then.